Hey y'all. What's happening? Welcome back to From the Ground Up in Zone 10B. You know. If you're new here, I'm V. And this is simply is Al. <laughs> <laughs> and um we are a large family of nine and we just grow our food in our backyard. Yeah, yeah. So we hope you guys stick around and we hope you like and share. Please share and like, man. Come on, y'all. Help, 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 help your brother out. Help your brother out in Christ. Okay, so we're going to start this. This video is basically going to be about insects in a garden. We're going to help you guys identify yeah, insects man. so that you will know if it's harmful or if it's helpful. Yeah, you might. Don't kill no beneficial ones, man. Just kill the little nasty, filthy, funky ones that don't nobody like you to eat up all your food. All right, class, y'all ready? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we're going to start off with aphids. So aphids come in a couple of different colors. I'll put the um, colors on the screen. And they're um, they're bought on a plant by ants. I so can't stand them. If you see a lot of ants on your plants, more than likely you have aphids. Look under the leaves, look on the stem. It's easy to get rid of them. You can just squish them. Put some gloves on. Put your garden gloves on and just squish them. Or you can get your water hose and just rinse them I'll off. I'll squish them with my natural fingers because it's personal. You can squish them with your natural <laughs> fingers as well. That's fine. Ooh. And um, here's the green ones. They mostly are clustered together. All right, guys. This one right here. This is uh, the grapevine. I think this is the concord. I'm not sure if it's the concord or, or the or some muscadine. Yeah, I'm actually killing these suckers right here. I mean, they were trying, these ants were bringing them all over all over the plant at the bottom. So it's, it's best to just check your plant out every day so you don't have an infestation of uh, ants bringing aphids all over your stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you're supposed to be in your garden every day anyway. Look at that. That's crazy. It's crazy. I know they got to eat too. Um, but yeah, check your garden every day. Yeah, so an uh, easy way to get rid of them, like I said, you can use your water hose and rinse them down. Some people use neem oil. Um, we try not to spray anything in our garden. If we do, because we haven't in a long time, maybe like a year or so. Yeah. But if we do, we would um, probably use neem oil with a little... Um, soap and water out. You put a eye card up top. So if you wanted to check out that video about how we spray our garden, you can check that out. And next we have leaf minor damage. Yeah, this is just as bad too. Make sure you check under your plants. This is the bug or fly that brings it. And this is a close up of how it looks inside of the leaf. This hawk moth puts out eggs for the hornworm. Look out for them. Yeah, so we're out here gathering our tomatoes, harvesting them, and look at here. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can check them out. These them little funky little quitters right here, man. Tip your stuff. Old hornworms. You can see the little horn at this booty. That's what they call them hornworms. They should call them booty hornworms. Nah, but these little suckers here will tip your stuff. Trust me. Give them a couple of days. Man, we didn't found like what five of them so far. Yeah, you gotta be vigilant. I see the poop on the leaf right here. Make sure so you get another. Okay, so this is hornworm damage. You see the whole stem, everything on it has been eaten off. Mm -hmm. You gotta get insects. They want to eat too. So now we're just inspecting everything to see if we can catch a couple of more. Yeah. We don't spray our stuff, so. You know what I'm saying? We keep it organic. Yeah, so the insects are gonna come and they're Absolutely. gonna eat just like we wanna eat. Yep. Yeah. Not mad at them, but when I see them, where they gotta go. Yeah. Yes, sir. But, positive note, we have a huge tomato. They're still pushing out. Yes. 
Y'all paid this morning? I'll wait. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. Tell God, thank you for another day. For life, health, and strength, you woke up in your right mind. You know what I'm saying? Trying to see if I see some more worm damage. Well, go ahead and get that one. Huh? I said, make sure you go ahead and get that one. Where is it? Lord Jesus. What's up? I almost forgot one. Oh, here's it. This is what you got to do to him, man. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, it is. Okay, so these are white flies. These are the white flies look up close, and you can find them underneath your leaves of any type of plants. These are flea beetles. Okay, so the flea beetles, they damage the leaves of your plants. Um, I've mostly seen just potatoes and sweet potatoes. This is the pickle worm moth. So, yes, if you see a brown moth flying around, that's what it is. This one is the cabbage worm moth, and this one is the cabbage looper moth. So, they all like, yes, they all like to eat the leaves and flowers and buds from the melons in the brassica family. So, they're a problem. They are a problem. You have to catch them really early or they will infest your crop and it's hard to come back from them. So whenever you see them, just say a quick prayer and get rid of them. So this is one that I found on one of the flowers to my, I think a zucchini. And I had to open it up and as you can see, that's the little critter right there. Yeah, and it got in it when it was just forming. Yeah, that's messed up. Messed up my zucchini. Yeah, just look at it, y'all. Messed up a nice zucchini. I had my eyes set on a nice stir fry, stir fry, and look, I should have just cut it up and put them in there anyway. Now I'm just, I'm just playing, y'all. It, it's good protein. No, nah, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and here we have the cutworm. If you ever came to your garden and the whole top of your plant is gone, it's because of this little critter, cutworms. And oh, how I hate seeing these little millipedes in my garden. I hate seeing these things. We were always told that they only like um, like decaying um, plant matter and stuff, dead plant matter. That is such a lie. These things will eat your plant just like a cup yep, worm. sure will. So there, there's the black one and the red one. Be on the lookout for those. Okay, so these are the eggs from the giant swallowtail butterfly. Yeah, and I don't like butterflies like that. They're pretty and all, but uh, what I've come to find out, they lay a lot of eggs on your plants, and when they hatch, they eat up your leaves and stuff, especially to your citrus plants. Uh, this is the calamidine. This is the calamidine. Okay, and as you can see at the top middle leaf, it's like a white sphere. They're either white or the orange. I don't know if they turn orange after a couple of days, but they uh, eventually hatch into a giant swallowtail like worm. So, and it looks like a piece of bird poo on on your leaves. So I'll show a picture of that. Yeah, with these butterflies, you'll see when they lay in it, like their butt their butt part will like curve in, and they like to put them on like new leaves, new growth. Um, uh, what else? Do they, they put it on top of the leaf or they, the bottom? They're either on the bottom or the top. It doesn't matter, but they watch out for your new growth. Uh, they stick better to those two that I come to find out. It's hard to take. It's a little bit harder to take them off than it is the older leaves. So you can't rinse it off. You probably could. I just never tried. Uh, but it's very. It, you can, when you see when you do it, you'll you'll feel it how how sticky it is coming off of there. This is a snake bug, guys. Okay, go ahead. Kill okay guys so hey. these are some of the pests that we found in our garden in zone 10b i know that we have similar pests across the country or across the world so if you have some that's different please leave it in the comments below so like, we can share, help subscribe. each other out why sir i'm sorry i was not finished i'm sorry go ahead i forgot like, what share, i was saying subscribe, and you better have pray <laughs> go ahead no, go ahead. Y'all pray, girl. Y'all pray out there. This is your boy. You know your boy, Alvin Goofy. But anyway, uh, I love that what y'all have been doing. We love doing the videos. We love, we're love. we loving the comments that you guys are leaving. Time is running short. <laughs> hey, like, share, subscribe. Ahala. Bye, y'all.